Aloha, folks. Ah, uh, beautiful. We're back. Uh, it's actually been quite a while since I last played Species, to be honest. Must have been some two, three, maybe even four weeks because I, I record in batches, you know, so I can cover my, um, uh, the periods that I'm doing other stuff. And now I've got a job and um, all of that, so gotta focus on those things but uh, yes I love species and I know all of you love species so we're of course going to continue on this world and now I'm, l I'm a little bit worried about uh, this everyone going extinct here I doubt that it will happen though but let's just uh, take a look at our clay diagram before we start off do 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 just so we know oh my god wow it's huge huge uh, is it this branch oh why is it not even light lighting up Oh, I think it has to do with us uh, doing the genetic mutation thing right about here. Um, so maybe it doesn't light up all the way back. Yeah, that that might be a problem, but it doesn't matter. The, the tree's so big that, you know, we'll, we'll always know that it's on the right side of the first part. Oh, oh, sorry, I just clicked the population history. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I'll, uh... What, what should we do in this episode? Oh, 32, 33. I think we're gonna we're gonna be okay. Oh, also, thank you for the the great feedback, the great comments, and all. Um, one thing, the Republic of History commented uh, in uh, I think it was episode six that uh, he got really colorful um, the like species, different animals, uh, different varieties when he made the world very icy and I, I don't know exactly the level of, of cold that he went to um, so yeah I, I also imagine that there are there must be some sort of other variables but we're gonna we're gonna go and leave it at this kind of cold temperature that we've got going here um, and hopefully we'll have a really colorful uh, range of, of um, animals Oh, there was also a question about uh, if there can be any water animals or like water, yeah, uh, sea leaving creatures, right? And uh, my answer to that is no, not at least from experience. What I've seen is maybe kind of amphibious animals. I mean, uh, the comments kind of already, uh, there was already an answer to that, but I, I feel like everyone should know. Um, yeah, basically th there are some amphibious animals that seem to just go into the water and kind of go back because they have the f their food sources on land basically um, there are no food sources as far as I know in the water and uh, yeah so that's that's basically why no there are no sea living uh, ugh, sea living uh, creatures sea dwelling creatures um, but there are kind of land animals that go into the water sometimes uh, but most of the time when they go into the water they end up going too far staying there too long so they die out I've also experienced that it has started look at that they're green oh yes this is gonna be really cool uh, yeah so these ones are gonna start going green maybe we'll get some other colors further on these ones are just oh oh my, wow okay this one I've got to see is it this? Okay, why do you need that tail? Okay, is it, is it really that thin or is it just a... Yeah, it, it is thin. Okay, please, please tell me how that is useful in any way. We've got some brown ones here too. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, like black. Yeah, so maybe we'll get colors. I think this is uh, pretty cool. It's just a matter of time. See, I'm c kind of impatient when it comes to... Um, Especially when I'm recording a species, uh, you know, I never leave it a very long time. I always want to do things, but um, with these more, uh, this new season, season two, I think, you know, since I cut between uh, parts, I, I've been able to leave it alone for a longer period of time. Uh, but still, I think, I think we should uh, strive towards more, like even more time. T uh, a longer time span between point different points, right? You know what? I just realized something. I've always been looking at this and being like, 
Day zero, day zero, how, how is that possible? I think it's just because we haven't even gotten to day one. You see how this is counting? It's basically, uh, these are seconds, minutes, hours, and then days. I think the idea behind this game almost, uh, with, with the counter, is that we're supposed to leave the computer on for a really long time. Wow. I'm, I'm just gonna leave the computer alone now for, for some time. Our green populations are kind of gone now. Um, and our darker, the darker group's also gone, unfortunately. But we've got some pretty cool... Um, varieties going on. Oh, yeah, th th these ones in the middle here. Kind of interesting. Um, a lot of them have tusks uh, for some reason. I don't know what tusks are for, really, in terms of... Uh, I mean, sure, they're, they're sort of a fighting thing, but in terms of the cold, why, why is that helpful? Can someone tell me, please? Seems like the carrying capacity of this... Uh, this world with this temperature, at least, is uh, around 200 to 300 uh, individuals. Um, the, of course, it depends on their cons food consumption or energy consumption, but that's has to do with the the energy that's c actually coming in from the sun and uh, feeding the plants. Of course, it's all related to that. So, yeah. I just need to clarify, when I said that, oh, the, uh, that the simulation is supposed to be on for days, that's not really what I meant. I can't, because simulators normally uh, will have an internal or uh, an internal clock that they might show outwards that always counts the simulation time in real time. As in real time, as if, you know, th if we're on speed one, this is one second in real life. And if I'm spinning it up times 10, of course, 10 seconds per second. Uh, that That's just convention, okay? So, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I actually just discovered what the curl color coding is. So basically, I select size, right? The red ones are the bigger ones? No, wait, the green ones are bigger. I'm not too sure, wait, none. And then, childhood length. Green ones, I guess, longer childhood lengths. Um, see, that's the thing. I, I don't know if the colors, if green is better or like longer. Or and what's blue supposed to be? What? What is this? Okay, but yeah, whatever. It, this the the color coding actually exists here. So attack damage, we can see who. Oh wait, let's uh, do attack. Uh, attack damage. We can see who has the higher attack damage values. I think I think it must be green, right? Or may maybe blue. I have no idea. No clue. Oh yes, look at all those colors. Isn't that beautiful? It's just weird. Although it's kind of weird how it just decides to change color here when it splits up. Um, well, I guess, okay, yeah. No, I guess I understand how it's sampling. Makes sense, but it's just looks weird when it comes from a bigger one and then it splits up in the middle like that ladies and gentlemen welcome to the new age in 10 seconds we're gonna be entering the first the or the second day of simulation I, I think that is a first in our uh, series so uh, clap let's clap for that that's a that's a great achievement um, I think we should actually do a tour. Uh, I'm gonna drive this rover here so we can showcase the various different. Uh, is that water or ice? Yeah, it's ice. Okay, how do I. Z why is it not zooming in like it should? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, so you see, these animals are quite big actually. Um, yeah, lots of colors orange, some greens. Kind of dull, actually. I think uh, a lot of a lot of these animals are very similar, and it has to do with the. I think it was a flat temperature map that I I set on this place, so it's kind of. It's all too similar. Um, their environments are way way too similar. I've also noticed that height, kind of, it doesn't really make a difference for 
the different animals because, for example, on a steep slope, they don't actually go slower. Uh, so height is only there f if you actually have another variable being dependent on the, the height, right? Uh, but otherwise, this, for example, this cliff here doesn't mean anything uh, to the actual animals. Which is unfortunate. Uh, I wish it actually made them slower, which, and then, you know, cut them off from other areas. Um, yeah, but whatever. Whatever. I really feel like raising the sea levels, but I'm, I'm kind of worried because if I do raise the sea levels, I think I, I'm not sh sure that the green areas are going to, you know, rise with the water. I feel like I'm just going to be extinguishing uh, food sources. But we'll try. It's very, very, very slowly. It's just that this lake here kind of annoys me. Makes me want to fill it up. Seems like uh, the green areas are coming along with the water, so I'm not gonna hesitate now. I'm just uh, gonna slowly raise it up, uh, make sure that I see the populations allocating themselves into habitable regions uh, without, uh, you know, killing off everybody. Okay, so this scenario scenario should be pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, it's not totally cut off here, and it's not. Uh, Okay, it's almost it's completely cut off here, but uh, not there. There's kind of a land land bridge, but what I was gonna say is that the actual ice, you know, it's it's ice. You can walk over it, and it doesn't actually melt at any point in the uh, the season here. Of course, it retracts, but uh, I think the individuals can still cross over. So uh, it doesn't limit them completely. It just makes them uh, makes a sort of temporary barrier. Um, which will, of course, encourage speciation, but we will hopefully see um, animals crossing the ice anyways, like that. And maybe some other example? No? No? No one? Okay. You guys and girls have no idea how unlucky I am. I was so happy about the world that was we were getting on uh, with uh, about one hour into the second day. I know it said day one, but... Um, I thought, you know, this is a pretty good place to round it off, and then the game just started to crash. Um, so yeah, 59 minutes right there. Uh, I, I don't know how to fix it. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. I've been trying for the past few, or the past half hour, really, and I uh, haven't really found anything that, that solved it. Um, in, in case I don't... I'm not able to get that world back um, or like play it properly without crashing within 10 seconds of me starting uh, I'm gonna of course start a new world uh, would be really nice if I could get some feedback before then though like what would you want to see what kind of world um, and or otherwise like I, I don't know how I'm, I'm gonna announce it you'll just have to see but you know Feel free to leave a like, uh, of course, and a comment about what you want to see, what you uh, what you like about the video, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, oh yes, of course, 100 likes, and we'll I'll release the next episode before the scheduled date of uh, next Sunday. So make sure to to leave a like, of course, uh, really helps me out, really helps you out, and um, yes, I think that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been Game Gabster. Don't forget to subscribe. Farewell.